All right, guys, so LP just left on a cruise today. He's gonna be back on Thursday, and I'm laying in his bed, rolling all around in it, rolling all around in it. Am I wearing shorts? Who knows? I'll let you guys decide, but I'm rolling around in it, LP. Rolling all around it. Hey guys, so I'm really sorry to say this, but I just found out that it's against the YouTube rules and guidelines to actually hold giveaways here on YouTube. So what I'll be doing is I'll still be celebrating milestones on YouTube, but I'll be doing the giveaways on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. So make sure you follow me on those links below. What's up guys, welcome to Tasty Tuesdays, a new series that's gonna be here on Humorous Fitness. Basically every Tuesday I'm gonna take you through a full day of eating. Now whether that means I'm gonna count my calories or my macros or not count anything at all, I'm gonna take you through an entire day of eating because I know you guys love the eating videos as well as the workout footage and the vlog footage, so I'm gonna make sure I got plenty of that. But what we have today for breakfast is turkey chili. You guys saw me eat this maybe a week or so ago. And it looks horrible in that bowl. Oh my gosh, after you nuke it in the microwave, it looks really bad. Uh, really like this stuff. It has 30 grams of protein and I think 40 grams of carbs and like five grams of fat. And then two slices of sourdough. So this whole meal bah, bah, puts me at 100, 200, and then 400 total, 600. So all of it together is 600. And I am about to start my, flip the screen, I'm about to start my live broadcast right now. So I'm really excited about that. I'm probably gonna eat some food in between while I'm live broadcasting, probably a tortilla. But I will update you guys when that happens. Let's do this live broadcast. I don't want a bunch of fit people walking around. That wouldn't make you any money. People would go to the hospital for all these health problems they have. Sirs. Sirs. I'm all focusing on the webcam. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Alright, this, this is a question for you, Brian. Woo! Hey Brian, I have a rotator cuff. I have rotator cuff issues and it really affects my overhead pressing movements. Any ex exercises you would recommend to strengthen his rotator cuff? James Grace asks. If you're having trouble with your rotator cuff, then probably the best thing for you to do is to do those rotator cuff warm-ups. I, I made a video uh, punching humorous fitness, I think. Uh, shoulder warm-ups or rotator cuff warm-ups and basically just do that for five to ten minutes before any of your overhead any any really any upper body day it's gonna it's gonna severely severely decrease the chance of injury that's gonna happen there so all right guys what's happening right now is we are in the middle of a live broadcast I've got LP right here munching on some quest chips I've got O2B over there so we're doing a three-person live broadcast and we're an hour and a half into the show here and I'm going to eat a large burrito tortilla. Like video and video. So this, I know, right? Video <laughs> Inception. This, Inception. There's people guys. watching us right now on the live show over there, which is pretty funny. Um, but this tortilla puts me at 600 calories. We're gonna go and do this broadcast for another about half an hour, and then we're gonna go to the gym. So I have about 40 minutes to digest, digest this, um, and this put me at 600 calories before I go to work out. Like I said, so we're gonna go hit chest and shoulders and finish this live broadcast. We'll see you down there. All right, guys. So we just wrapped up the live show. I'm getting my traditional one cup of orange juice here. There's LP. I think O2B is down there at the bottom of the stairs. Um, and yeah, we're about to go lift chest and shoulders. Got about probably 15, 20 minutes until we actually go to the gym. Got a bunch of people over my shoulders. <laughs> yeah, so I'll update you guys in a second. I'll show you. Uh, I'll either show you the protein that I'm about to put in a bag for post workout, or I'll just see you guys straight to the workout. Either way. Let's go to the next clip. So we just finished chest and shoulders, got O2B right here, uh, <laughs> texting, right? no, he's Instagramming. Instagram. We both just took the same video and they're both yeah, uploading we're gonna post it. the same okay. video except opposite people, to, whatever, anyways. Uh, mine's better because I'm in it though, so. That is true, that is true, O2B's is better. If you guys aren't subscribed to him, go over and check him out. He's on my homepage, love my YouTube. I give everyone that subscribes, I'm not, I'm not lying when I say this, I give you, you get a free hug. 
free and hug. And if you're a cute dude, kiss. Oops. So. Ooh, it's all dramatic. Oh! <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, so I just finished working out. Uh, I forgot to record me drinking my protein, but I took one scoop of egg protein and put it in a Ziploc bag, shook it up, drank it. Uh, it's been about 10 minutes now. We're going to start our cardio. I think we're going to do, I think we're going to do stairs. I think we decided on stairs for about 20, 25 minutes. And then we're going to head home and I'll show you guys what's for post-workout. What's up guys? Just got back from the gym. I'm about to eat this post-workout meal. I'll show you what it is. It's the traditional thing that I always eat after I work out. And that is four chicken, or four potatoes. I don't know why I call those chickens. Anyways, four potatoes and then three chicken thighs over here. And, uh, and I'd say these potatoes, probably about... I'd say the potatoes are probably about 200, 250 calories. But since I'm cutting, if you have a range, you're not really sure, always aim for the higher range. Always count as the higher range because then if you overcount, that's all right. You come in low on calories, but if you're cutting and you go over calories, you just wasted that whole day. Anyways, the potatoes are probably about 250. And the chicken is probably about one, two, probably about 300. They're pretty small pieces. So that is another 500 on top of the last 900. So we're now at 1400, I believe. Also, one thing I wanted to point out, uh, I, I guess, really, no one, no one really goes over their water intake on these days of eating. But here on Tasty Tuesdays, we cover everything, baby, all the bases. I drank this whole thing of water, a whole gallon of water, uh, this morning. Got to just about the bottom of it, then went worked out. Had about, I'd say, four bottles of water, which is 17 ounces each for each of those bottles. And that puts me at, what's that, like 2468 plus 120. We're, we're somewhere around 200 flow ounces. We're just under um, two gallons. And I usually go about two and a half gallons, sometimes three gallons in a day. Anyways, I'm going to eat this. My friends are coming over. And uh, I don't know what's in store for the next meal, but I'll see you guys then. <laughs> oh, God. Jeez. Look at that sunset. That's crazy looking. Look at that moth. Ooh. All right, guys, so uh, the Little Giants Fitness came over. At Little Giants on Instagram, you just heard me shout them out. LP's in the other room, uh, and I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the 99 cent store. Who's that? It's Jacoby Freeman. As always, I mean, if you guys have seen my 99 cent store hauls, you know I always get pretzels. And so those are zero fat and just pretty much all carbs with just a little bit of protein. Next thing I got, was these cool things. They're like Quaker uh, rice cakes. They're like little mini rice cakes, but they're barbecue flavored. And the, the, the Marcos on the back of them are pretty good. This lens is not the great one. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go, I got it. Oh, oh, I got it. Oh, 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 LP coming through with the light. So the Marcos on this are two servings of 130 calories, 4.5 grams of fat, so a total of nine grams of fat, 44 grams of carbs for, for the entire thing, and what's that? Four grams of protein for the entire thing. So what this is going to do, this is, this is purpose, is just to give me a little bit of my fat that I need before I take my Accutane. And the next thing I got, it's like my vice. I'm gonna stop this about probably three or like probably three or four weeks out from uh, my competition. <clears throat> but I love having a diet soda every night, and it's not the best vice. But I like to do that while I edit videos for you guys. And then the last thing that I got were these cool little energy drinks, and they're they're just kind of like reject drinks because they're not the best tasting, but I like both of the flavors. And each of them, so in one can, there's 80 milligrams of caffeine, 80 milligrams of guarana, and if you drink one, it's a solid pre-workout, but if you wanna go crazy, it's like taking two scoops, you can just drink both, and it's pretty awesome. All right guys, so that's what I got from the 99 cent store. Pretty much, we're just gonna bullet here. I'm gonna eat a couple servings of pretzels, so that's probably gonna bring me up from 1500 to about 1800 and then I'll show you guys what I actually eat after I hang out with these pups. All right, so true to our gym nature, we're all sitting here watching Phil Heath videos. So, I'm gonna eat a bag of these. This is uh, 260 calories, yeah, 260 calories, nine grams of fat, 44 grams of carbs. And then I'm gonna go cook something and make this a real tasty Tuesday. All right guys, so our friends just left and LP needs to get a snorkel because he's going on a cruise. Ooh. So, I'm having some diet water, <laughs> which is a joke that I stole from, I think, what was that, Nick Wright that did that? I don't, I don't know. know who that was. I thought that was really funny. Having some diet water uh, and we're gonna go to Walmart. 
All right, guys. So I was just about to pull out. Usually these, okay. Usually these steak packages. There's two steaks in here. I didn't realize this one is just a huge one piece of steak. Look at that. Oh, holy damn. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know if if, oh, if only I was bulking, I'd put that down. No problem. I'm gonna split this up though. I'm gonna cook it in a frying pan. So what we got over here is a little bit of fruits, a little plethora of fruits that I'm gonna eat while I'm cooking that steak. I probably got about a serving of grapes, maybe a serving or two of strawberries, and a serving of these blackberries. And I usually don't eat fruits a lot, but I've been incorporating them in my diet lately. And I really love the way they taste. I mean, it's a lot of sugar, but I mean, serious guys. So what we got here is I'm putting a steak in and I kind of just sloppily cut it out of that huge thing you just earlier saw. But this is a top sirloin. Ooh, that is a sexy sound, isn't it? Uh, and of course, we're going to salt and pepper it. Also, we got the oven going at 425, and we got sweet potato fries, which is just so good. So me and LP are gonna split them if LP stays up. And so this will be part of my fast. The macros on this, there's six servings of 130 calories, and six servings of four grams of fat, six, six, 12, 18, 24 grams of fat. The whole thing, 12 grams, so if you split it, that's not bad. Then I'll get a little bit of fat from the steak, and I'll probably get a little bit of something else for my fats as well, and that'll be that. That'll be the end of my uh, my fat intake. Struggling with the bag. So while this is cooking, I'm gonna throw a little bit of spinach in there. I, I used to not really like vegetables, but in the last like probably I don't know like year, I've been trying to put more into my diet. And I actually really like them. Like cooked spinach is really good. And it's gonna get all like the steak juices and whatnot into it. So it's like super tasty. And then I've been on a mushroom kick, so I'm gonna throw some mushrooms in there. See if we can do this one-handed. Wow, that was pretty that was pretty pro one-handed skill right there. Ooh, and I like mushrooms a lot. So I'm gonna put a pretty good amount in there. And mushrooms are super good with meat, like steak or chicken, because mushrooms' texture is so meaty and like kind of thick, so it like pairs really good, in my opinion. Oh, I almost forgot. Also, I am going to throw these in the microwave. Now, this is three servings of green beans, and you just cook them for like three minutes, and the the whole thing gets steamed, and it's super good. So this is taking care of all my veggies and my micros: green beans, mushrooms, spinach. Okay, so I just finished cooking this steak, and you know what sucks? is being someone who sweats all the time. I'm completely drenched in sweat from cooking over that steak. How about that presentation? Isn't that like 10 out of friggin' 10? Likes for your presentation? Leave a comment telling me about how great my presentation is. So we got a little spinach, got the mushrooms, and we got the steak. We also got the green beans right here. So I'm gonna eat this. And then I think the sweet potato fries are coming out in about 20 minutes. Sweet potato fries is on fire! Got sweet potato fries, me and LP just split them. We're watching a little Star Wars, and then I'll take you guys to my next meal. And then I'm gonna edit this video that you're watching now, Tasty Tuesdays. All right, so now what I have is three quarter cups of pro meal, and it looks pretty bad, but it's amazing, it's super good. So basically it's just water, oats, cocoa powder, protein powder, and, and that's pretty much it. And you can put cinnamon or vanilla or whatever you want in it. But it is super duper good. You can get this camera not all crazy. It's super, super, super duper good. And it's a total of like uh, 225, 120. It's like 350 calories, it's like nothing. It's awesome, so I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna probably have a protein bar, but I'll let you guys know when I get there. All right, guys. So you can see behind me, I got my uh, my backdrops, my green screen, and my black screen. One of my lights there. I had one of my overheads. Anyways, the last thing I'm gonna have is one of my infamous Cliff bars, my chocolate mint protein bars. I have these like pretty much every day. They're really good. They're soy protein. That's why I have them instead of um, whey protein, like most protein bars are made out of. And another vice of mine that I'm gonna cut out pretty soon is diet soda. So I'm having an orange diet soda. They're so good. 
Uh, and uh, I'm in the middle of editing this video. I'm probably going to be done in about an hour or so. Uh, and then I'm heading to bed because I have a client to train in the morning. So thank you guys so much for checking out my first Tasty Tuesday. Now this is just the first one. It's going to get more exciting. I'm going to add things. I'm going to do macros sometimes. You know, I'm going to come up with recipes. All sorts of different ideas. But if you have any suggestions or you have any ideas, please leave them in the comments below. I check through them all. I read through them all. So I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you haven't liked and commented the video, you hear me say this every time, but I'm so serious. It helps so much if you would. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'm going to go on and eat this chocolate mint protein bar but you guys have a good day or night i'll see you guys in the next video lift heavy or die myron team beyond the week